Three traffic deaths on Siesta Key last year are making residents push for safer roads on Siesta Drive. Yeah, and some residents feel FDOT is putting up roadblocks against their efforts. Our Jake Peterson took action to get them the answers they're now looking for. It's heavy traffic an awful lot of the time. Really like the Wild West. Three fatal crashes on this two mile stretch of Siesta Drive and now residents have had enough. When you have those kind of numbers, you can't look at this and say this is a situation that can go untended. The speed limit on most of this road is 40 miles per hour, but residents say a lot of the drivers are going faster than that. Just this year, a car took out this sign. Many of the drivers are cruising to the beach. Everybody's sneaking about five miles an hour over that. Um, the, the worst offenders are in the upper 60s. Neighbor Pat Wolf is part of a committee called Make CS to Drive Safer. They're pushing FDOT to lower the speed limit to 30, install crosswalks, and add more lighting. They've been listening to us, but we are not moving as fast as anybody on our side would like to see that happen. FDOT officials did lower the speed limit around this curve to 25, but residents want the speed limit lowered on the entire two-mile stretch. If you had a lower speed limit, you know, everybody knows that at a lower speed limit, you're going to decrease the number of fatalities. So we took their questions to FDOT. The agency says they're conducting a speed study and the results should be back soon. Residents say these pictures are all the proof they need. It's about people dying in this neighborhood. We just hope that, you know, another person doesn't die. Reporting on Siesta Key, Jake Peterson, ABC Action News.